Okay, I'm here in Indianapolis with my wonderful grandmother, and you recently asked me what it is that exactly yes, I do. Yes, I'd like to know just what you do. Why are you useful to businesses? Yeah, so I think to start with, we have to really start from kind of the space in general, not just what we do at Robusta, but also about Kubernetes, which we were speaking a little bit about. Okay, yeah, explain to me what Kubernetes is. Okay, so imagine that you go to the grocery, and you walk into the grocery, and in the grocery, um, there are a lot of people coming in, and there's only one checkout aisle that's working. That'd so be a problem. <laughs> what would the grocery do? They would open more checkout lanes. Right, so the grocery opens up more checkout lanes. Now, the traffic, or the number of the people going through the grocery, they split between those lanes. Right. And now, more people come in, so they open up more grocery checkouts, right? Yes, just keep on according to the need. Yep. And now people will stop coming in. So what does the grocery do? They start closing down some of the aisles. Right. So that's exactly what Kubernetes does for servers and for websites. So they respond to the needs. You respond to the needs. And you bring up more servers or less servers according to the needs. Mm -hmm. so, so you're not wasting time. You're not wasting you know, space or anything. Yeah. Now, in Kubernetes terms, that's called auto-scaling because you're scaling the amount of servers or containers automatically. Mm -hmm. That sounds useful. Yeah. <laughs> now, what does Robusta do with the Kubernetes? So we help you monitor that. And when stuff goes wrong, sometimes in any complex operation, especially one that has a lot of automated moving parts, then sometimes stuff goes wrong. So we help identify the common things that can go wrong and we have, it's like a rule book. Like if this happens, then this is the way that you fix it. And then we help you automatically fix different issues that go wrong in your Kubernetes. So you're troubleshooters. We're troubleshooters, yeah. Uh -huh. So that sounds pretty important to me. Uh, me. Well, I, you're my grandmother, so you're biased. <laughs> but... No, I'm not the least bit biased. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> but if I were going to be a, a good businesswoman, I would certainly want that. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Grandma. This has been fun. This has been a lot of fun for me, and I'm very proud of you. Thank you. And I think you're very important for, for, uh, for helping the world run better. Thank you. Do you have any more questions or stuff? Um... No, when are you coming back again? <laughs> oh, I don't know if that's for the video, but yeah, thank you. Mm. And uh, as soon as I can, you know. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Goodbye. And thank all. you to the world's best grandmother. Well, hardly. <laughs> <laughs>